Good morning, guys. We're starting off another week. I just woke up this morning and had a coffee. I always film my Stanley in the morning to get some water in me. I obviously let Coco out and I had some work I had to get done on my computer today. So I went straight to my computer, kind of planned out my week. It's gonna be a pretty busy week and it should be a fun week. Good morning, you guys. It is technically not Monday, but it feels like a Monday because it was a holiday weekend. So it's actually Tuesday. I'm just working on my computer, doing some fun stuff. And I'm excited for this week. I feel like I love the end of the month because even though it's like a lot of crunching, I usually finish up the week before the last week of the month. So the last week of the month isn't that hard for me. But we have a lot of like filming for my program this week. I wanna try and work out of the house a little bit, like go to coffee shops. And I think I'm gonna test out a new routine this week of just like waking up early, getting ready, or not ready, but like maybe get ready doing work on my computer or going to a coffee shop and then working out later on in the middle of the day. Just since I have started filming my workouts, I feel like going in the middle of the day is better than the morning just because I don't want to get anybody in the back and the gyms are usually a little bit more empty in the middle of the day. So that's going to be like my routine I test out and then I'll come home after the gym and it'll be like pretty much time to make dinner and I feel like it'll actually be a nice routine because I'll get out of the house right at the end of the night and then maybe I'll walk Coco like first thing in the morning so I'm like out of the house, in, out, out. So it'll be kind of nice. I'm gonna test it out. And then also it'll be easy to like go to a coffee shop in the morning to work because then I'll get a coffee. And I feel like the reason why I don't usually go work at a coffee shop is because I've already had two coffees by the time I've worked out. And then by the time I like finish the gym and then would go to a coffee shop, I'm like, oh, I can't even get a coffee. I guess I could get a tea. But this might not work because then I won't be able to have a coffee on my way to the gym. And that's like my favorite part of the day. So maybe that's not what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. But yeah, this morning I've just been working on my computer. I'm actually really tired today. I don't know why. Like we didn't even have a crazy weekend. I took a few days off vlogging. So you guys haven't seen like the past four or five days, but like we legit did not do anything. And it was so nice, but I'm so tired. I don't know. I slept in a little bit today. I slept in yesterday, catching up on some beauty sleep, but I am just gonna finish up doing some editing right now. Hopefully get a video posted for you guys and it's actually a longer video. I wanted to test it out and see how you guys liked a longer video. Maybe I would do just like one long video a week and that would give me more freedom to like create on other platforms because I feel like I haven't been as consistent on like Instagram or TikTok. I need to record my podcast before we leave, make some breakfast and then we'll head to the gym, do some filming there, kill two birds with one stone, get a workout in, come home shower, maybe get ready, and then see what the rest of the day has in store. But welcome back to the vlogs. I hope you guys have been enjoying following me around and I'm gonna try and show like more behind the scenes of what I do for work, all the things. So don't forget to subscribe and let's go record my podcast because I need to get that out of the way today. Hunter and I are trying to decide if this dresser would fit in our room. You can't really tell, but it's really cute. It has like lines through it. I just got the measuring tape. I made myself a smoothie. I guess I can move this mirror. Yeah, it'll be slightly over. Can you move the mirror out all to the right? Mm -hmm. This is right up against the wall. We'll just get it and then we can hang out with our wall. Just got dressed. I'm gonna do my hair for the gym. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but we are gonna do back and biceps today and I'm filming it for my program. Ideally, I wasn't even gonna really share anything until it was completely done and like ready to be launched, but I just decided like I film my life. I don't wanna not tell you guys exactly what I'm doing in the vlog so you guys get some behind the scenes before things are actually fully ready. I just thought it'd be cool if you guys could train with me every single week. But my hair never is right the first time. I did want to show you guys the skims order that I placed because I just got it in and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys that order real quick. Hi, were you just hanging out while mom did her hair? <laughs> right, you'll probably follow me into the next room. Okay. I got a few different things. Actually, one thing I already wore, so I need to get that. You guys might have seen this if you follow me on Instagram. I posted a story in this top, and I literally don't think I've gotten that many DMs before about a top. It's just a plain gray long sleeve. I think this one is called their cotton collection. I have this exact one in white, so it's not just the color. They're all extremely soft like this, and oh my god, I'm gonna be wearing that all the time. I just ordered two other colors too, because when I got it in, I was like, wait, this is actually the best top. And then something I've never tried before with Skims is their swimwear, but I heard Keaton Milburn say that they're like the best fitting swimsuits that she has, and she feels really confident in them, so I was like, I need that for the summertime. So I got this one. It 
I don't know what color it is. It's probably like a stone gray or something. Dark gray, super cute. I love that it's super low back and it's also super high leg, so it cuts right here and I just think it looks really cute. The back is super cheeky, which is how I like my bathing suit, so if you're not into cheeky. I actually think they had some non-cheeky options, but. Oh, this is the next thing I got. I wanted a few just like PJ items. I think these shorts are called the boyfriend boxer because it looks like legit boxers, but they're really high quality, super soft, super stretchy waistband. I also like that it has the Skims little logo right there. I thought that was really cute. And yeah, I definitely can't wear those out because I think they're a little bit see-through. And then these are the boxer pants, which are so cute. I love this color. I really wish I could have gotten these in the blue color, but they were sold out when I ordered these ones. But they might be back in stock now because I saw that they've been restocking their website a lot more lately. And I like how when you flip it over, the waistband just says skim, skim, skim. So it's really cute. So... That's everything that I got. Very cute. Need to wash that so I can wear them. This is my outfit for the gym today. I'm wearing Story Biker shorts. This is a PE Nation little workout top. Really cute. I was trying to find the shorts that match this top, but I couldn't find them. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I also ordered myself a white or a dune Stanley because my best friend Katie had one last time I was in Arizona. And I was like, I need to get that because it's so much cuter than the purple one that I have. So I ordered this one. And we will go with our APLs today. Let's go to the gym. Just got back from the gym and look what came in. If you watched my last video, you know that... I ordered this rug and it just came in, so I thought we would unbox it together. I feel like this is gonna be annoying to unbox. I'm gonna go get some scissors. The fact Hunter is like home and could have helped me after work, but I just didn't want to wait. <laughs> That's how patient I am. Watch out, baby. There we go. Oh my god, this one's so gross. Okay. I think it looks really pretty. It smells right now, but that usually goes away within like one, <coughs> one to two days. So yay, I'm very happy with it. I need to shower because I literally feel disgusting. I worked out the entire time in my jacket, except for when I spun a little bit at the end. So I got so sweaty today and it was just disgusting. because I wanted to get some work done before my workout class and Sydney and I are going to the ocean today so I knew I wasn't going to come right back home after my workout so I just got my podcast listened to so I can post that while I'm out and then I also did some editing so I can also get a vlog up for you guys today and it actually felt really good. I wasn't actually planning on waking up at this time as you guys saw my alarm I actually went off at 6 30 but Coco woke me up at 5 and I was like let's just get up because you're already up so I had my coffee, I just got dressed for my workout. I'm going to spin this morning. I'm just listening to music to try and wake myself up. I'm gonna make another coffee and then we're gonna go. Grabbed my bathing suit and my beach towel. Oh, it's actually kind of cold this morning. There's just nothing better than the feeling after a spin class or this, the feeling during. I just love spin. It's just like one of my favorite activities and I think I just genuinely enjoy it because I love listening to music and I love riding on B. I just think it's so much fun. It's like dancing. I danced a little bit growing up, but I always did cheer and gymnastics. And for some reason, this is like the closest thing that I've gotten to that like cheerleading feeling ever since high school. I chose not to cheer in college, so it's been a long time since I've cheered. So this is like a glimpse of having like that team feeling with like the music and I just really like it. And I also have been really liking the yoga class that I signed up for last week. I legit love Core Power. Again, I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok, but I said that it's my favorite gym that I've ever been to and I still stand by that. It has the best vibes and I thought that everyone was super nice and yeah, it was just like really fun. But 
I am excited to jump in the ocean after because it's also been a while since I've done that. I'm kind of scared because it's been like more cold this week because it's super gloomy. But Sydney and I are doing two opposite workouts today because she's gonna go to CrossFit and I'm gonna go to spin. She doesn't love spin and I've never tried CrossFit and I'm like kind of scared to try CrossFit. So we're like, try we were trying to get each other to do the other one. And then I was like, let's just go to different ones and then meet up after and then get coffee. So that's what we're gonna do. I like that plan. That was so hard. It was just like so hot, but it's actually really cold outside. So I don't know if Sydney and I are gonna jump in the ocean. She texted me, she was like, wait, should we just go on a walk? and coffee and I'm like, thank God you said it because I did not want to jump in the ocean right now, it's too cold. Especially after taking like a hot class. It just takes a while for like your body to cool off, but maybe we'll do it, I don't know. Just texted her. But definitely get coffee somewhere because I didn't end up making a second coffee today. And I've been up for like three hours at this point. Okay, we have the top down. Wait, is that called the top down? If it's just the sky roof? I don't know, I'm trying to sound all cool. She's just finishing up at her workout. She wants to go to this place called Ola Adios. And I've never been there before, so that's good. It's a coffee shop. Let's see. Seven minutes away. Cute. The coffee shop is so cute. I feel like this is one that Hunter has been to before because he was telling me about one. And it looks really cute. Thank yeah, you. My Thank you so much. Back at it again with her crunchy. Ow. I'm not really a water person. So many people I know are just really good at drinking water and I've just never been the type to constantly drink water. Like I have to remind myself. But I think that's why I drink electrolytes because I literally always am forgetting. But that's honestly fine. You can you choose your battles. Another battle. I feel like when I wake up early, I just die by 12 o'clock. Like it's 11, 15 and I'm about to go sit on the couch. So many home updates in today's video. But we literally ordered this yesterday and it already came in, it's from Living Spaces. It was in stock, so maybe that's why it came so fast. But Living Spaces is the place to get furniture. Like, this is so nice. I'm actually really surprised. There's felt in here, it has the soft clothes. Just got home from the grocery store. I haven't even showed Hunter everything that I got. I got you this creamer. Should we try it? Oh, cookie butter. I just read it out there. That said peanut, peanut butter. butter. Okay, I'm just gonna get, wait, it's so dark in here. Yeah, that's good. You should just try it real quick. Mmm. Also got some pasta noodles. I didn't know if you wanted to do pasta tonight. Cause we have ground turkey. Or we could both do, I bought the salad I could do. Yeah, you do that, I'm my pizza. And then I could have some more pizza. I got the salad, this was a splurge item. It's a California steak salad. And I got some sourdough, so that'd be good to have some sourdough with it. And then I also got some turkey meat. I've been loving doing sandwiches for lunch just because they're so easy. And I always have sourdough with me. Got some more of my Epic bars. I really like taking these with me to the gym. And then I got this French squirrel. Actually, one of my friends owns this company and they're really good. You can only get them in LA. So if you live in LA, try them. And then I got two restocks of almond milk and oat milk. I'm gonna do my overnight oats tonight too. And then I randomly got this yogurt because I really wanna try it. It's the clean up, plain and simple plant-based yogurt. like really early this morning and then I just slept in. Um, to be honest, I had an anxiety attack last night. Not attack, but like really close to one. That was actually the worst like anxiety night that I've had in a really long time. And I used to struggle with really bad anxiety so it kind of brought up some memories of not so good nights, but just something like really small set my anxiety off, which I hate. I am grateful that I do kind of know my anxiety really well which is nice because then I kind of know how to control it and I also know how to avoid it when I possibly can but sometimes I try and control it a little too much because I'm such a 
controlling human but anyway that was not fun last night just wanted to honestly share it with you guys because I feel like a lot of us do struggle with anxiety and it's not always talked about I know a lot of people talk about it online and I've mentioned here and there that I struggle with anxiety but like it's not the everyday that somebody's vlogging and like it happens that they have an anxiety attack because it's always just kind of random and even for me it's been like a really long time since I've struggled with that so I'm gonna go home get ready hopefully feel cute today I think my self needs that today okay I'm quickly getting ready I'm going to a little work pop-up shop slash event at Hotel Joaquin which is actually one of my favorite hotels if you guys have been following me for a while you saw me stay there before I lived in California this was like almost two years ago with my friend Rachel you might have seen either my video or her video Rachel Ratke if you guys know her she's actually Rachel Henri now but I remember we were like so obsessed with every single inch of this hotel so I'm really excited it's with a brand called Zuzu and Zephry and Sydney is also going and we're gonna get smoothies before so I'm getting ready for that I will show you guys my outfit when we leave I can hear Coco banging on the back door so I need to go let her out I'm wearing a dress today from Amazon it's actually really cute I'll show you guys okay here's a good look at the dress that I'm wearing I'm just wearing my little skim shorts underneath but this was like I think $20 from Amazon it's really cute they had a bunch of different colors, but I went with this brown color. I love wearing brown. I think it's really cute for the summer. Just a little short. Technically, it looks like an exercise dress, but the material is just like a normal dress. So I'm wearing my 112 sneakers that I always wear. These are Lily's brand sneakers. Like, they actually designed these and created them in Italy. And it was like an entire year process. So super high quality and they're really comfortable. And I feel like they just match with every single outfit. So that's what I'm wearing. Coco's being so cute. My little cuddle bug. Your ears okay? Yeah. Guys, look at the hotel. Do you guys remember that pool? It's so cute. Also, just got this white little set. Look how cute. What the heck? And he got this cute one. Hassan. Hi guys, I got my hair done today. Oh yeah, it looks so cute. It looks so bright. Also, if you guys are in the Orange County area, go to Joe. Yes. She's really so good. I went to high school with Joe, and yeah, that's where so I get crazy. my hair done here too. Did Hunter go to y'all's high school? Mm -hmm. It's been like a whole morning. I haven't really vlogged much, but we went to that pop-up shop, got a cute bathing suit. It's funny, I just like posted this one Instagram picture that Cindy took of me after we got smoothies. Let me show you guys. It was just like this swipe picture. And then the last picture, it was just me. And like somebody DM me, it was like, oh my God, you look so happy. And I obviously am happy. And that was like a quick moment and stuff. But it's just like funny because I was just telling you guys this morning how I literally had just such a bad night and had the worst panic attack ever. But then I like post on Instagram the next day, like, oh my God, smoothie date. So it's just funny. It's like something that I hate about social media, but I also, like that it's just like simple and chill and i don't know like there's no problem with me posting an instagram picture the next day not showing like that i had a panic attack the night before i just thought it was like interesting to share with you guys because i at least for me i know that i will go on social media and be like oh their life looks so perfect or it seems like they have everything together they're so successful they're so happy especially if i have a night like i did last night and then i go on social media i'm like oh why is this happening to me but then everyone else is so happy and it just kind of goes to show that you never know what's going on behind the scenes but just pulled up to my favorite starbucks let's go hi can i just put a grande over with a flash of milk uh yes made Caitlin redo the entire sandwich. I should have asked if you wanted one. So that's my, that's my bad. Mm -hmm. I thought you would have gotten Chipotle. I, I almost did, but I think I've gotten it like twice this week already. Don't lie. Serious. It's been more than that. No, it's only two times. Okay, well, this is wife behavior. I'm waiting for scraps. Can you my comment? 
What'd you say? Another night, we just went on like, how long do you think our walk was? Mm, probably like a mile. Really, it felt longer than that. Um, but we just got home and Hunter made us some dinner while I took a shower. Cause he's a king. And he brought me my Olipop <laughs> in the shower too, with a straw. How is it? Very good. We love putting this Parmesan cheese. I've shared many times, but if you missed it, this par Parmesan cheese is so good. The grated one from the block. Always a Rubiata because it's spicy and it's really good. Guys, good morning. I wanted to show the new coffee combo. I've been drinking this week, it's so yummy. I used the stock cold brew coffee and then I got this cookie butter flavored Califia Farms creamer, almond milk creamer and it tastes like a gingerbread. So I've been doing a little bit of this and then I also did some oat milk. It's so good, such a good combo. I just had a little breakfast snack and now I'm gonna go to the gym this morning. But, sorry, my voice <laughs> is not here. I don't know why. But I actually got these hangers yesterday at Target. I really just want to get my life organized. <laughs> I really like when all of my hangers match. I just think it looks the best. So I'm gonna hang up all of my nice clothes and then all of like my sweatshirts, workout clothes. I'll show you guys today. But that stuff is gonna go in drawers. Before I keep going, I wanted to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. You guys have heard me talk about Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform that helps you create a website or domain. If you guys have a small business, if you're influencers, if you sell products online, or if you wanna get into blogging, or you wanna get into having your own business, Squarespace is such a great website to use. I'm actually creating a website right now for the launch of my merch, which you guys will see. I feel like Squarespace, out of all of the websites that I've ever used, really helps you be creative in a way that really matches your vibe and your aesthetic and your brand's online presence, because there is so many different templates and things to choose on Squarespace's website. It's super beginner friendly. You pretty much just click a bunch of buttons and then your website is created exactly the way that you want it. So if you guys do want to try out Squarespace, you can actually use my code, Kayla Nolan, and it will give you a 30 day free trial and 10% off when you are ready to purchase a domain or a website. I'll link everything that you guys need to know down below. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go clean a little bit and then we'll get to the gym today. It's Friday, so we're going to dinner tonight with friends. And I just wanna have a fun day. I never recorded my podcast yesterday, so I have to do that today. Edit that, do some other editing. Also, I wanted to show you guys the dresser because I put some cute stuff on top. I moved my lamp that I got from my office. I might put it back, but I'm so happy that we found this online because it matches the vibe so well. And it's really, really good quality. I put all of my sweats in there. These are my leggings. We have my shorts. And then over here, my nightstands have my tops, workout tops, and then my bathing suits are down here. And then my other nightstand on the other side of the bed has my PJs, so. Okay, we're gonna make the bed. We're gonna wash our sheets. Okay, Hunter and I made the bed, as you guys saw, and now I just have to get some work done. This is the last like thing I have to do for work before the weekend. Just changed for the gym, kept on my skims top that I slept in. I have on my Nike leggings. These are really good, they're like compression leggings. I forget the name of them, but I'll link these down below. I have my gym bag, my water. I do have to still record my podcast and send that in, but I'll do that a little bit later. It's not like time sensitive, so let's go. see the camera. Went to Starbucks after the gym. Coco and I are laying out because the sun is shining. I'm about to read my Kindle. I just have a little self-care afternoon because honestly I felt so like go 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 and overwhelmed lately and I think that's why I had a little bit of anxiety the other day. So I'm just trying to like chill out and maybe slow down a little bit. It's funny though I have like two personalities because part of me is like I want to slow down and then the, the other part of me is like I want to be adventurous because Literally so many of my friends right now are like going on trips and going out of town today and this weekend and I'm like, now I feel kind of lame. <laughs> I always do this to myself, like I'll say no to plans and then I get FOMO. I feel like everybody probably has FOMO. My dad's actually staying here next week, but I was like, maybe we'll go home with him and spend a week in Arizona since we've been wanting to go on a trip and I feel like that's just like chill. And then I was like, wait, literally the last five trips we've done has been Arizona and then we did that one weekend in Palm Springs with Coco. But 
I think the reason we never travel is because I don't want to go anywhere that I can't bring Coco. Like, does anybody else who have dogs feel that way? Like, they just don't want to leave their dog? I just love you too much. I love you too much. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to end this video because I'm just going to be chilling. We're just going to have a really chill weekend and we're actually going to San Diego tomorrow for a meeting. That's really exciting, but can't really share anything. I'm going to end the video off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have the best week. And I will talk to you guys on Wednesday. Because hopefully this will go up on Sunday.